All right. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Today we got in store is another fat pack of Magic the Gathering from Corset 2019. Well, this is the first one of this corset, and actually they're called bundles now. Ten booster packs, got nickel bolts on the front with his little green eyes and the floating ball between his head. Magic the Gathering, their symbol here. Corset 2019, uh, ten booster packs. Um, I did try to open this a second ago, but uh, I ended up pulling really hard and punching the camera, and it stopped recording, so I'm restarting the intro. So that's what this little hole is. Uh, let's see what it includes. It includes the player's guide, uh, 10, 15 card booster packs. Interesting, they spell out 10, but they leave 15 in uh, letters. Uh, 2019 core set, uh, 2019 core set card box, uh, 80 basic land pack, magic quick uh, reference card, spin down life counter. Anything on the bottom, you got the happy line, the little green recycle thing, and it says, uh, questions contact wizards.custhelp.com 2018 Wizard of the Coast, even though this is 2019, I guess they're trying to be like car companies, trying to sell you something before the year is even even there. Cars will be like, oh, the 2019 Toyota or Ford or whatever, just to make you feel like you're getting something ahead of time or it's more, I don't know. Just make you feel better about buying something. Right off the bat, you got this useless little card thing, which I'm not really even sure why they have these. I actually use mine as a change box and put all my change in it when I get home. So that does have that, and it's very interesting they actually have a symbol on it, but there is no mention of it in uh, the contents. So I don't know why they just, why they even have this. Maybe just to fit this in here. The little RFID sticker so you don't steal. Don't ever steal. You got the Corset 2019 Player's Guide. Really bright pictures on it. Got the purples, got Nicol Bolas, and a quick little rundown of all the cards in the set, which is pretty cool. Nice little encyclopedia on it, and I think it does tell you a little about of the lore and stuff like that. Looks like I used a pen to open up uh, the set, and I did get a little bit of the ink on me, so just have to bear with me. I don't think it's coming off. It's just on me forever now. And uh, yeah, just got Nicol Bolas, got the Elder Dragons are back, and cool stuff like that. Tezzeret. And, uh, yeah, just top 10 coolest corset 2019 cards. And who picks these cards? Obviously, not us. And uh, let's go ahead and open this up and see the imagery that we have on it. I got a corset 2019 backdrop. Looks like uh, Nicole Bolas on the background. Really cool picture. That would be cool. I might actually cut off the edge of this and set it up somewhere. But for now, it will be the backdrop of this picture. I really like the box on this, which is dark, pretty simple, really like it. I forgot that they included, oh cool, I got a black spin down die, always nice, my favorite uh, color in Magic, and it says M19 on it, fun. And uh, I really like how they include this nice little side storage thing now, pretty fun. You got the booster packs right here, the tiny little reference guide that pretty much is a joke I would say. I've opened up other products in the past and they give you like a full fledged like pamphlet that you can just un ex expand and like telling you all the rules just gives you basic parts of the turn beginning phase main phase combat phase dead decay blockers to uh, combat damage main phase ending step um so yeah just a little pamphlet if you don't know what's going on you can use this pretty cool set that in the side got the cool spin down dice you got the land pack let's open it up and just take a look at it even though we all know what this is just a big old hunk of lands used for making any decks. Pretty cool, so use this and turn it into decks. I guess that's what they want you to do. They want you to either draft from this or just make your decks out of it. They all say M19 in the corner. Pretty cool art in the swamp right there. I really like it. Really beautiful trees. Just a uh, nice art. Yeah, so I got a whole bunch of lands. Let's try to open this up a little bit better. Got the storage box, the micro storage box, I guess, inside. I'm going to go ahead and just throw the lands in there for now. And uh, yeah, got 10 packs. Let's uh, go ahead and open them up and see what we get. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. It's really hot outside today, and uh, hopefully it rains to cool down a little bit. I'm hoping to get that Nicol Bolas or some Death Barons today. First card I got is Gearsmith Prodigy. One blue, Human Artificer. Gearsmith Prodigy gets plus one, plus zero, as long as you control an artifact. It's a one-two creature, and she's just standing there with some giant contraption there. It looks like the legs of something. That's what I would say. Pretty wild. Oh, some trash. Next card I got is a crystal element. Two in a red crystal uh, creature element. Sacrifice crystal element. Add two red to your mana pool. It's a 2 2 creature for three. And when you sack it, you can get some mana. So maybe declare it as a block and then sack it and uh, get some mana to play something. I don't know. Pretty fun. I got a Rust 
rust winged falcon, one white. Looks like this really cool bird, really nice uh, detail in the picture, beautiful. His eyes are just looking right at us, he's about to swoop in. Got the sun directly behind him, the beautiful river in the background. Just a glow of like golden across the whole land. It's a bird for flying, that's a one two for a one drop. Awesome. I got a bristling boar, three and a green. Uh, my camera is falling over a bit. I do not want it to fall. There we go. Uh, it's a boar. Uh, this boar can't be blocked by more than one creature. And it's a 4-3. And he's just running through the forest making a muck. Flipping this pretty much as Jaguar in the air. It's a Pumbaa. And he's full of spikes. Next card I got is a Hired Blade. This guy was given 15 shillings and now he's about to chop off someone's head. Two in a black. He's just waiting behind the alley. Really beautiful picture. Nice glow of the light. Really bright light back there. Just like you're looking at it. You're waiting to see something. But he's not there yet. And he's waiting there all night. Human Assassin with Flash. You may cast this, this spell anytime you can cast an instant. It's a 3-2. I got a wall of mist. This crazy wall of mist. And it looks like this bird flying away. Giant bird. Quite darker this bird. I'm not sure if it's the same one. Probably not. And you got this boat going right into it. Definitely reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean where they had to go through some wall or something like that or fall off this giant, like the edge of the earth. That's what it was. One in a blue creature wall, Defender. This creature can attack. It's a 0 5. I got a rabid bite. All these reprints, but I mean, of course, that's our full of reprints. It's a one in a green, and it uh, looks like this guy's biting the werewolf instead of the werewolf biting him, which is pretty funny. And <laughs> this guy's like, whoa, that's my job. I and mean, he's like, Got that crazy look. Beautiful detail work. Look at the hair on his arms. Pretty crazy. Disgusting fingernails. They do a real good job in this art. Carl Kopinski. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. So, make a creature deal damage to a creature you don't control. I got a manolith. Really beautiful color. Got all the colors, so I'm sure it's going to produce all the L all the colors. It's tap, add one mana of any color. It's three to drop. It's artifact. You can tap it right away. Got like a vortex going around this manolith. You got the purpley, the greens, the blues, the reds, the oranges, a little bit of black. Telling you it can make all the elements. Awesome. I got an abnormal endurance. One in a black. It's like this creature is just getting hit by arrows and nothing's happening. Looks like it's hitting him. Some force fields blocking them. He's just standing there. Got his crazy hair in the background. His hair is probably about to hit somebody too. Instant. Until end of turn. Tiger creature gets plus two, plus zero, and gains. When this creature dies, return to the battlefield tapped under its own control. So flash this out for instant speed. Give a creature a little bit of strength. It might still die, but uh, at the end of the turn, it comes back into the battlefield tapped. I got a ghost form. One in a blue. It's a sorcery. And this guy looks like he's went through him or he's I'm not exactly sure he's walking through this creature there and he's a ghost form he's about to attack somebody really cool art nice blue mist coming off him sorcery up to two target creatures can't be blocked this turn so that's why they're both unblockable first uncommon I got is a volley veteran really fun art on this picture really like it nice detail work nice depth he's just got a smile on his face someone's throwing a cucumber in it he's just like all right everybody whatever you got throw it People are throwing fruits and vegetables. Got a potato over there. Got some arrows. Looks like some of the arrows are about to hit him, but he doesn't care. Got his group in the background, and he's just smiling, saying, This is what I was born to do. Three in a red. Creature Goblin Warrior. It's a 4 2. When Volley Veteran enters the battlefield, it deals damage to target creature and opponent controls equals to the number of goblins you control. Got this guy in a goblin deck. Awesome. He comes in the battlefield. Uh, pretty much kill whatever creature they have out if a bunch of goblins. I got a Rise from the Grave. Zombie deck. Taking this big creature and rising it from the grave, his nose melted off, Lily on its air, with the black energy coming out of her hands. The graveyard, some of the stones are just flipped over, and she's bringing it back. She's like, you are my servant now. Four and a black, sorcery, put target creature card from a graveyard, so any graveyard, onto the battlefield under your control. The creature is a black zombie in addition to its other colors. Death is no excuse for disobedience. She'll bring it right back. The next card I got, Volcanic Dragon. Four and two red, you got this dragon just charging at you with his mouth open. His face is like a ball of fire. He came straight out from a volcano. Beautiful reds and yellows just flying at you. Creature Dragon with Flying in Haste. This uh, creature can attack and tap as soon as it comes under your control. And it's a 4-4. Four, four. And uh, the card, uh, the rare I got, is a Mystic Archaeologist. One in a blue. This creature searching in some tomb or something like that, looking at her hand through like this magical thing. She's got energy coming off her fingers, and she found something. She's holding up this piece of the wall right there that fell off, and she's reading what it means. It's a human wizard, and has three and a two blue. Draw two cards, and it's a two-one. And I got a bat, and an island. 
It'd be really cool if I got a Nicole Bolas in this set. We will see. The first comment I got is Onke Ogre. We got this big guy. I remember opening up in a pack before. Two in a red. He's just running through the forest rummaging. Got his big goofy body and his tiny little head. Big hands and his sword. And it's just a 4-2 big guy. I got a mighty leap. This creature person just jumping off the building with their swords. Hopefully that she'll fly or something like that. I'm not sure if this is a printing air. Oh no, that looks like waterfall coming out there. Mm, kind of looks very flat, this picture. It should have a little bit more depth, I would feel, between the legs and this water. That kind of looks like they're blending into one surface. Anyways, cool picture. Nice lighting. One in a white instant target creature. Gets plus two, plus two, and gains flying until end of turn. So they can fly. I got a cancel. One and two blue. Contra target spell. Boom, just get rid of it. It's got this wizard there, helping, uh, holding up her bubble, just stopping all the fire. Beautiful blues and purples protecting her. Really crazy looking dress. And she's just saving the day. Beautiful fire. I got a ep Epicure of Blood, four and, two, uh, four and a black. This guy's just pouring blood in his hands. I don't know where he got it, but he's just playing with it. Crazy looking like a uh, vampire fortress in the background. Cool looking fence along there. He's just walking along it. Got his robes on, his nice armor. He's a nice red velvet and uh, looking down up at him like he's got a lot of power. Got the birds or vampires flying in the background. Creature vampire. It's a 4 4. Whenever you gain life, each player, each opponent loses one life. Titanic growth. Now, this card I've seen before. Some crazy looking fox. Look very mean. Look at the birds compared to him. This knight's like, oh, I found him, but I'm not going to get him. Run away. Really beautiful shading on this picture. Look at the, uh, the trees and his fur and his crazy green eyes. One in a green. Target creature gets plus four, plus four until end of turn. And it's an instant. I got another wall of mist. I got another rabid bite. I got another manolith. Wow, this is quite a few of the same cards in a row. Adormal endurance. Wow, ghast ghost form. That was uh, quite a few of the cards in the same. Let's see if they're in the same order. I just want to check for curiosity. I got a wall of mist, rancid bite. Let me see. So I got Wall of Mist, Rabbit Bite, Manolith, blah, 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 blah. Wall of Mist. Yeah, really, those were all in the same order. Very weird. I wonder if these packs are going to be the same. I hope not. I got a Fiery Finish. Four and two red. Looks like he's uh, wielding some fire and some crazy little serpentine pattern. I'm about to throw it at somebody. Sorcery. Fiery Finish. Deal seven damage to target creature. Just take seven. I got a Novice Knight. One uh, white, really beautiful picture, almost looks like a camera picture. Really great detail. She's about to unsheath the sword. You got some energy coming off the sword in the forest. Really nice shading. You can see the trees uh, blocking out the sun on her face. Creature Human Knights Defender. It's a 2 3. As long as the novice, novice Knight is enchanted or equipped, it can attack as though it didn't have Defender. So if you equip it or enchant it, it can attack. I got a Plague Mare. One and two black. Looks like some horse nightmare creature. Yep, nightmare horse with the purple coming out of his nose and eyes. And his hair is turning into like the sky. His clouds. Beautiful lighting in the background. Kind of creepy. Nice angle. And Plague Mare can't be blocked by white creatures. It's a 2-2 two -two creature. And when, my, when Plague Mare enters the battlefield, the creatures your opponent controls gets negative one, negative one to end of turn. Fun. And uh, the rare I got is... Prodigious growth, four and two green, enchantment or enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus seven, plus seven as trample. Look how cute it is now, Vivian Reed. <laughs> it's a giant ant in the picture, really cool. Just makes this ant giant. Crazy beautiful art. Got like the crusty looking mandibles. Got the beautiful sky in the background. And the trees, once where he's walking around the grass, now he's walking around the forest. And they got a plains and a soldier. All right, next pack. Okay, I got a Scholar of the Stars. Three and a blue, Human Artificer. When Scholar of the Stars enters the battlefield, if you control an artifact, draw a card. It's a 3-2, and he's looking in his lab. Really nice, beautiful, detailed work on his face. Almost looks like a picture. And you've got his big telescope, his small telescope, and I've mentioned this picture before. It looks like there's little tiles on the ceiling. I'm not sure if he's looking through glass or it's being projected onto the tiles, but cool. I got a Tormenting Voice, one in a red. The voices are getting to him. You got uh, Ugin or uh, Nicol Bolas speaking in his ear. He's just covering his face saying, get away, demons. Sorcery. In addition to cost this spell, discard a card and draw two cards. Cool. I got a Orsco Swiftclaw. One and a white. 
a reprint from a while ago. And uh, this is just big cat creature, a uh, cat warrior, just uh, standing there with his like kilt on or something like that on top of the hill. Beautiful light hitting it. Got the mountain in the background, got his big axe, and he's looking at something. It's a 3 1 creature. I got a doomed dissenter. One in a black. I wish that they didn't print reprints in the core sets of sets that were just made already, but then again, I don't have power over that. It's a 1 1 creature. When Doom Dissenter dies, each uh, create a 2 2 black zombie creature token. So when he dies, bring out a 2 2 zombie. Looks like he's in the desert. He's trying to find some water. Hopefully, he'll find it or he'll become a zombie. Cool picture. This is a Rock's Oracle, 4 and a green, from my Dan Scott. He's sitting over his big cauldron of mixed goods. I'm not sure if he's making soup or he's just found some lava. I'm surprised his fingers aren't burning. And he's just sitting there in the forest reading the future or something like that. It's a rhino monk. It's a 4-2 for 4 and a green. When Ronk's oracle enters the battlefield, draw a card. So he's looking at something and seeing the future. I got a electrify. 3 and a red. Looks like this girl's zapping someone with her taser arm saying, stay back. Really cool picture. Um... Got like the weird kind of floaty pyramids in the background. She's standing there, zapped this guy, and he's flying backwards mid flight. Three in a red, electricity, electrify, deals four damage to target creature. I just got a walking corpse, just a 2 2 for a one and a black. And it's just a zombie. Got half of his face falling off, got the nice blue sky in the background. He's in a graveyard, and uh, someone brought him to life, and now he needs to find some food. I got a snapping drake. Three in a blue, creature drake flying. It's a 3 2 creature. He's got a little bit of purple on his wings, really cool, looks like Ugin's little brother, and he's angry and mad. And, uh, yeah, just really cool art. So, three and a blue for a 3-2 flyer. I got a Gearsmith Guardian. It's five generic, and I believe it's, yep, Gearsmith Guardian gets plus two, plus zero, as long as you control a blue permanent. It's a 3-5. Artifact Contracts, if you have any other blue permanents, uh, he gets a little stronger and becomes a 5-5 five, five for five. And he's got some blue energy in him, got, like, his gilded armor, and, uh, definitely kind of Kaldesh-looking background. Got Druid of the Cow, one in a green. Creature Elf Druid is tap, add green to your mana pool. It's a 1-3 creature, got a little bit more of a body on him. And uh, she's standing there with his really gilded armor, crazy looking force in the background, kind of Dr. Seuss looking. And uh, she'll make you some mana. Ooh, got, a, got a Blanchwood armor, really cool card, really like this, uh, cool art too. Got some armor plated on his body, cool sponge work paint in the background, kind of got like the sun or moon back there. Two in a green, enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each force you control. Play this in just a forced heavy deck. Man, you'll make that creature quite big. If you already have four forests set out, it's a four four. It gets plus four, plus four. Pretty fun. I got a suspicious bookcase, too generic. Definitely want to make a wall deck. It's defender, and it has three tap target creature. Can't be blocked this turn. It's a zero four. And the door's opening in the hall, the hidden in the house, the hidden doorway. Got the yellow, golden light coming through, makes you really want to walk towards it, see what's inside. Got the moonlight shining through the lights, and just looks a beautiful library. I got a Horizon Scholar, five and a blue. Uh, big, old looking sphinx or something like that. Yeah, it's a sphinx, and he's just standing on the mountain, literally as big as a mountain. You got the clouds beneath him, and he's not even flying. Five and a blue for flying. It's a four four and a horizon scholar enters the battlefield. Scry two. Look at the top two cards of your library, then put any number of them on the bottom of your library and the rest in the top in any order. And the rare card I got is a Leon Selfish Champion. Four and two white, legendary creature, human knight. It's a three three. When Leon Selfish Champion enters the battlefield, create a one one white soldier creature token for each non token creature you control. Sacrifice Leon creatures you control with power less than Leon's. Power gain indestructibility until end of turn. So, if you have a bunch of non-creature tokens out, this comes in the battlefield, creates a bunch of 1-1 one, one white soldiers for each non-creature token you control. Sack this person, give all your creatures with power less than her, indestructibility until end of turn. Fun. And then I got a stone quarry and a zombie. Uh, Alrighty. On to the next pack. No bolus yet, but there's still quite a few to get. And I've yeah i got an inspired charge two and two white just got like a wall of swords coming out of them it looks like they're all banding together nice shine off their armor and they mean business instant creatures you control get plus two plus one until end of turn fun i got a dwindle the tiny little kitty kit or that's a wolf he's pretty much made the wolf the size of a mouse with his magic arm you can see he's in some sort of laboratory setup got like the skull of some creature he got like a lantern, it looks like some books there, and he's got his cages of mice with the red eyes, and he's putting a wolf in there to see what happens. Crazy. Two in a blue. 
Enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets negative six, negative zero. When enchanted creature blocks, destroy it. The attracting creature remains blocked, but then it dies. Interesting card stock feel. A sure strike. One in a red. Looks like this guy's getting up real close. This little goblin about to stick this big Eldrazi or creature just in the belly to kill him. Got beautiful fire behind him. But a, but a brave little guy going up there with his pike saying, All right, boss, I'll get him. His pincers are about to get him, but it looks like he'll strike first. Tiger creature gets plus three, plus zero, and gains first strike until end of turn. Definitely goes with the picture. He's about to strike him first and got a little bit of strength. I got a duress. Uh, my uh, face tracker is picking up on this. She's in the forest, this little elf, and some trees are sticking some needles right out of it, and they're like, all right, give me your money. Open up your pockets and let me pick out something, which is what this card does. One black, target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-creature, non-line card from it. That player discards that card. Some discard. I got a Lich's Caress. Three and two black. This creature is not sure what he's doing. Hurting this guy right here about to send him in the earth got some really distraught looking crazy stuff flying in the background some colors some purples some Greens some blacks and a lot of blue energy just flowing into him and you got the monster from black lagoon back there Destroy target creature you gain three life So kill a creature and gain three life for five. I got another manolith I Gotta take vengeance one in a white sorcery destroy target tap creature boom hit him in the chest Looks like she's angels just flow up in the sky. Really beautiful pictures. Got purples, really nice golds and yellows and whites. And some blue in the background, some green underneath. They're definitely flying in the sky. She's like, you know what? Not today. Boom. Right through the chest. Killed this guy. Got another ghost form. Got another electrified. I uh, got a vine mare. Two and two bl uh, green. Creature elemental horse. This giant horse looks like he's in a graveyard or something like that. That's what I would say, and uh, he's about to gallop away. It has hexproof. This creature can't be target of spells or abilities your opponent controls. Vine Mare can't be blocked by black creatures, and it's a 5-3. He lit in the graveyard because he knows he's safe from all the black creatures. I got a switcheroo. Four and a blue. Looks like uh, this tiny little turtle and this dragon are about to switch places. It looks like the turtle is now in the dragon's body and the dragon's in the turtle because the turtle has red eyes, the dragon has blue eyes. And the, the turtle has a little bit of fire in his face, so the turtle's like, how's it feel to be small now? Exchange control of two target creatures. Really nice art. Goes exactly with the text. A lot of fun. I got a poison tip archer. Two, a black, and a green elf archer with reach and death touch. Uh, this creature can block creatures with flying. Any amount of damage that is dealt to this creature is enough to destroy it. Any amount of damage that is dealt to a creature is enough to destroy it. Whenever another creature dies, each opponent loses one life. It's a 2-3. And whenever another creature dies, either yours or the opponent's, they lose two life. Got this guy with the poison arrow tip, his little snake buddies in the background in the forest, about to let loose. And, uh, cool. I got a graveyard marshal. This is a card I actually wanted. Two black, creature zombie soldier. It's a 3-2, and has two and a black exile creature card from your graveyard. Create a tapped 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. So, it's a two black for a 3-2 creature, which is pretty cool. And two and a black exile creature card in a graveyard. Make a bunch of tokens. You got a whole bunch of zombies that are in your graveyard. And uh, you want to make some 2-2 two -two zombies. Just exile them and put them out there. And it looks like I got Inferno Helion. Really beautiful art. Kind of cool foil. I wish the foil was a little bit different. It's kind of hard to see the detail work on it. But it's a three and a red crazy looking worm. Helion has trample. It's a 7-3. At the beginning of each end step, if Infernal Helion attacked or blocks his turn, its owner shuffles it into his or her library. And I got a woodland stream and a goblin. Just a little goblin. Well, I got a graveyard marshal, so that's pretty fun. On to the next pack. I got a frilled sea serpent. Looks like a lionfish or something like that. Very poisonous. You got the view of below and above water. Really beautiful picture. Steven... Belladin. You got this small little raft of these guys. They're like, oh gosh, we got a manpower away from this. You got this creature here, tiny little eyes, lots of big teeth in there, and he's swimming at them. You can see the waves in the water. Looks like clouds in the background, and a four and two blue. Creature serpent. It's four, six, five and two blue. Frilled sea serpent. Can't be blocked this turn. Cannot be blocked. Lava axe this is an older card. This guy or girl's throwing the lava axe right at somebody. Right out of the mountain, beautiful angle to the picture. You got this lava axe flowing right at you, and it means business. Four in red, lava axe deals five damage to target player or planeswalker. They updated it. I don't know what the old card said, probably just to say any target. Catch. 
Got Knight of the Tusk. Four and two white. Looks like these are elephant knight creatures. And uh, they're riding this elephant. They, sh they whittled down his tusk, which is kind of sad, and put a little cap on it. I wish they didn't. And uh, he's got some plated armor on, and he's got flags, and uh, they mean business. Human knight. Vigilance. Attacking doesn't cause this creature to tap. And it's a 3-7. I got a Glenwood Sentinel. One in a green. Vigilance. Tapping doesn't cause this creature to tap. And it's a 2-2. Two -two. Boom. I got a Mind Rot. Cool picture. And uh really like the art on it. Looks like this person just wrote till they died or something. They're like writing so hard. It's just scraping into the desk or something like that. And uh, their mind has literally rotted. Really beautiful shading and lighting. Got the tomes around her. Got the feather. The feather looks really old and they just like withered away. Two in a black. Target player discards two card. Many an inventor has collapsed under the pressure to create a flawless design. She was writing so much that she just collapsed. I got a Martyrer's Axe. Too generic. Looks like this axe is in the middle of like a flamey forest. It's like a King Arthur's sword, except this is an axe. Pick it up and you'll have ultimate power. Artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus zero. And equipped is two. So it just gives some, some strength, not any defense. And costs two to cast and two to equip. I got a Cavalry Drillmaster. One in a white. Human Knight. When Cavalry Drillmaster enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus two, plus zero. Gains first strike until end of turn. It's a two, one. And first strike is, it deals with calm damage first before any other. He's riding his black horse, got his pike there, got people in the background fighting, and uh, this looks like a very serious man. Cool, nature lies, really cool art. I don't know if I've seen this before. Turning the sword into a tree. Beautiful art, really nice. Goes with the uh, what the artifact does, or uh, the instant does. Destroy target, artifact, or enchantment. Pretty much turning the artifact or enchantment into just nature. Back to nature, nature lies. Beautiful picture. I got a luminous bond. Two and a white, enchantment or enchanted creature. Enchanted creature can't attack or block. Just wrapped up in the on the, in the field and uh, can't attack or block. She's like, tell me your secrets. I got a Johnny's Welcome. Got like the stars in the background. Looks like one of his eyes is actually slit and he can't open it anymore. He's got his six pack. He got his like glowy stuff everywhere. And uh, he's a lion man. One uh, white, enchantment. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, gain a life. Fun. I got a Colossus Majesty, some giant elephant tusk or something. All these baboons are running away. You can see one, two, three. His other legs, and this one's here. So big. There's like a piece of tree stuck in there. It's so small. These poor monkeys have to run. This guy's like diving. Really fun picture. Two in a green. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control a creature with power four or greater, you may draw a card. Might doesn't just build empires. It protects them. Fun picture. Really like it. I got a Dire Encantar. Enchanter, one a green and a white, Stire Druid. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, draw a card. It's a 2-2. Two -two. And he's in the forest with his, like, uh, what is that? He's, like, half person, half ram or something like that. And he's got his little weapon, and he's just hanging on the side of a tree. And uh, the next card I got is a Supreme Phantom, one in a blue. Really interesting guy. Looks like he has really long flowing like hair or something like that, like a spirit. Got like clouds wrapping around him. You can see the stars in the background. Creature spirit flying. Other spirits you control get plus one, plus one. It's a one, three. Pretty awesome card. It'd be fun to make a spirit deck just off of this guy. Really cool. And it looks like I got a foil, Child of the Night. Rawr. One in a black, Child of the Night. Lifelink. I always feel like this creature is flying, just because in the picture it looks like she's flying, but just has lifelink. It's a two, one. And I got a foul orchard. And an ox. All right, on to the next pack. Find your magic community. The little guy, totally lost. That's what that card is. Got to anticipate. This guy's sitting underneath the waterfall, bending the water. Got his cool little uh, staff there. One in a blue instant. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them in your hand, and the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. I got a hostile minotaur. Three and a red creature minotaur with haste. It's a 3-3. Three, three. This guy is sitting there with his uh, war trophies. Killed a soldier. He's got it in the background. Got his crazy horns. He's screaming the howl as the sun goes down saying, This is my land. Got a knight of the tusk again. Got a Talarian scholar. Two and a blue. This guy is reading his book and doing some magic in the air. Got an interesting little smirk on his face. Definitely looks like a combination of CGI and actual live photography. Pretty cool art. Um, different set. I really like uh, the old hand-drawn or hand-painted art though, but still a lot of respect to this artist. Human Wizard is a 2-3. Sorry, my camera just froze for a minute. Got a giant spider, three and a green. 
creature uh, spider with reach. This creature can block creatures without with flying. It's a two four, older card. He definitely caught some sort of like uh, flying pterodactyl or something like that. Got his little cute eyes. He looks real furry and real cute. I got a vampire neonate. One black creature vampire. Two tap. Each opponent loses one life. You gain one life. It's a zero three, and he's just sitting there. Found this old corpse or ate this corpse, and he's got blood everywhere. Doesn't really know how to eat. And he's just dripping, got black in his eyes, really beautiful colors of blue in the sky. Evil. I got an Avon Wind Mage, two and a blue, creature, bird, wizard. It's a 2-2 two, two, flying. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Avon Wind Mage gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Rawr. Looks like some sort of bird creature. <laughs> I got an explosive apparatus. One generic. Looks like it's some sort of grenade with some green energy in it. He's pulling out the pin with his teeth, about to throw this copper ball full of all this green energy at somebody. Watch out and take cover. Artifact, three and tap, sacrifice explosive apparatus. It deals two damage to any target. I got another luminous bond. I got a stitcher supplier. One black, interesting card. Uh, really interesting for a zombie deck. Want to try it? The Liliana Planeswalker. Looks like she just takes all these body parts of people, puts them in a bucket, and she's like, hmm, time to make a new body. She's going to take the head with that foot, that leg, that, I don't know, just all these pieces stitch them into something new. Really cool, dark art. Really like it. One black creature zombie. It's a 1-1. One, one. No part goes to waste. When Stitcher Supplier enters the battlefield or dies, put the top three cards of your library in your graveyard. So in total, uh, if it if it dies and comes into play, normally it will put six cards into your library into your graveyard, which would be good for a zombie deck. I got an Ether Tunnel. One in a blue. Looks like this guy put an ether tunnel into the bank and he's stealing money right out of it. He's looking around the corner. He says, does anyone see me? No. So he's going to just take the money and run. One in a blue. Enchantment or enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one and uh, plus zero and can't be blocked. You, If you can't find a doorway, make one. I got a lightning strike. One in a red. Lightning strike deals three damage to any target. It's like a lightning bolt, but one more expensive. And he's just a hand of lightning coming down from the sky, about to just smack somebody. And uh, I got an isolate. Looks like all these people are standing around him, just uh, putting a protective circle around him. You got his hands out there saying, why me? One white, instant, exile target permanent, permanent with converted mana cost one. Wonder what this card will do. Pretty interesting. And then I got a highland lake and a knight. All right, and I'm back. My camera has a problem and it decides to overheat sometimes, so I have to let it cool down for a little bit. But thanks for hanging in there with me. On to the next pack. I got uh, three left after this one. The first card I got is Knight's Pledge, one in a white. Really beautiful art, really nice reflection on this picture, really detailed faces, like extremely good proportions and everything. I really like the ripples of the flag in the sky, beautiful sky in the backgrounds, and uh, enchantment aura. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two. As long as my fate persists, so shall I. Boom. Uncomfortable chill. Wow, really funny picture. Look at these guys. They look very interesting, their faces. His face almost looks like Salvador Dali, like the melting clocks or something like that. You got the sun in the background. It's like It looks like his foot's frozen. His axe is frozen as well. They're really like funky. He's got like a big belly, this guy, and a big old nose. And this guy's like kind of ripped, but his face looks very sideways. Or maybe he's just really pulling as hard as he can to get the axe out. I think that's what it is. It's just his face of stress. Two in a blue. Enchanted creature. Uh, instant. Creature is your opponent controls. Gets negative two, negative zero until end of turn. And draw a card. So pretty much take their weapons away from these guys. Really funny picture. by Izzy. I got a Buck Goblin Motivator. I think it gives other creatures haste. Tap. Target creature gains haste until end of turn. It's a 1-1 one, one creature. Small words stroke large flames. Stoke large flames. And it looks like this little guy is like, all right, come on, big guy. We're going to attack this turn. You ready? And he's like, okay. Okay, pal. This guy's got like some big acne on him. He's got this little green guy on his shoulder, kind of like the devil and the angel talking. Got the goblin on one side saying, all right, let's attack. Cool picture. He's just riding this big beast. I got a Daybreak Kaplan, Chaplain, one in a white. This uh, clerk, human clerk, is standing there glowing her energy. She's got interesting red hair. It's got like the beautiful landscape in the background, and uh, she'll give you some lifelink at it too. Lifelink for, and it's one through creature. Damage dealt by this creature also causes you to gain that much life. It looks like I got a Oaken form. Looks like this is a wolf made out of wood. That's what I would say. 
Really cool picture, almost looks like some pencil work or something like that. Beautiful, nice depth to it. You got this crazy looking yellow beady eyes of this wolf just running straight at you. Two and a green enchantment aura. Enchanted creature gets plus three, plus three. When the beast cloaks itself in the mighty oak, what what's good is a bow. When the oak wraps itself around the snaring beast, what good is a hatchet? <laughs> Funny. I got an infernal scarring, one in a black, enchantment aura, enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two plus zero and has when this creature dies, draw a card. And this guy's on the mountaintop, just scarring himself. We got a star crown stag, three and a white, uh, creature elk. When star crown stag attacks, tap target creature defending uh, the player controlled. So when he attacks, you get to tap a creature your opponent controls. Maybe get him through or just stop a blocker. Beautiful like uh, elk just in the forest, got like glowy horns or antlers and uh, snow everywhere. Really pretty. You got Totally Lost, which is the guy nope, on the back of one of the cards. Uh, he's just in the city looking up and he doesn't know what to do. Mike Wazowski's little brother. Four and a blue instant, put target on a land permanent on top of its owner's library. Got a centaur corsair, two and a green, creature centaur warrior. It's a three three, just standing on the edge of the cliff overlooking the forest with her horse body and her uh, lady uh, top and uh, she's got a weapon in her hand and it looks like I'm not sure if that's smoke or tree or something like that but she's just standing there protecting the land I got a crash through one red you got some like uh, looks like some pharaoh people or something like that just busting through a window about to save the day got his jeweled necklace on like that and uh, looks like she's got a bow and he's got his staff and they mean business Creatures you control gain trample until end of turn. A creature with trample can deal excess combat damage to the player or planeswalker it's attacking, and also draw a card. Fun. I got a uh, Leonin Vanguard, one generic white. You got this cat woman in the in the forest, and uh, she's just gonna protect herself. She's got her claw up and also her sword, so she's got two weapons right there. And you can also see the other lines in the background, so she's not alone. It's a cat soldier. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control three or more creatures, Leon Vanguard gets plus one plus one until end of turn, and you gain one life. And it's a one one. Fun. Oop. I got a bone to ash. Two and two blue. Looks like this creature uh, just dried up and it became bones, and then the bones are just blowing away and sort of like this sort of vortex or something like that. Half its body's disintegrated. Really cool art by Clint Sarali. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Counter target creature spell and draw a card. So counter any creature and draw. And I also got a murder. Just a good reprint classic kill card. One and two black. Destroy target creature. It's an instant speed. And you just got this angle of this guy on his knees falling down. This guy above with a knife in his hand. Not even look back. Slits his throat. Just walking right by. Terrible. And uh, the rare I got is one with the machine. Three and a blue. Sorcery. Draw cards equal to the highest converted mana cost among artifacts you control. Three and a blue, and if you got big artifacts, you can draw a whole bunch of cards. You're just taking energy from this big machine. Really nice purples and blues just going everywhere. Fun. And I got a Tranquil Expanse and a cat. One sec. And I'm on to the last three packs. Gonna pop it open. Looks like you got Vivian Reed on it. I have not pulled a Planeswalker yet. Maybe there'll be one in here. Maybe there won't. Anyways, opening is always a lot of fun, and I enjoy it anyway. Guilds of the Ravnica. Got a Hostile Minotaur. Got this guy earlier. Got another Knight's Pledge. Got another Anticipate. Got an Onko Ogre. Got another Doomed Dissenter. Got a Daggerback Basilisk. Uh, two and a green. Looks like some crazy Gorgon creature. Basilisk just standing there. Got like headlight looking eyes. Got green back. Got like ooze coming out of its holes. And he's got daggers on his back. Interesting. It's a Basilisk with Death Touch. Any amount of damage it deals to a creature is enough to destroy it. He's got poison coming out of him. He's a 2-2 two, two for two and, a, uh, 2 and a green. I got myself a shock. Uh, just one red. Deals 2 damage to any target. Take 2 damage to a creature, planeswalker, or person. Cool. And he's just sitting in the middle of an alley. He's like, look at my cool arm. I chopped it off and put this thing on it. Look what I can do. Got another stag crown stag. Got another totally lost. Got another centaur courser. Got a rupture spire, the first uncommon. It's a land. It looks like this big spire just poked up out of the earth, just broken with the volcano. It'd be quite a sight to see if a volcano erupted in and left behind something like that. Just all this mist is the water evaporating off of the air, off of it. Like the whole land is just torched to the ground. You can see burnt like leftover trees and stuff like that. You can still see some of the lava, the red sh showing through the ground, and this just bursted out.
Rupture Spire enters the battlefield tapped. When Rupture Spire enters the battlefield, sacrifice unless you pay one. It has tap, add one mana of any color. So it enters tap. If you don't pay a mana when it comes in, it dies, but it will produce a mana of any color. Oop. Next card I got is Heroic Reinforcements. Two, a red and a white sorcery. Create two 1-1 one, one white creature tokens. Until end of turn, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain haste. They can attack this turn. So create two white one, two one one white creature tokens they get plus one plus one so they're two twos and they can attack that turn interesting card and uh, they're in the middle of the battle you can see flame falling area you got the girl and the guy the big sword and the shield and they're about to just take on whatever's coming at them boom next card i got is a gargoyle sentinel you got a gargoyle sitting on top of the building got rain coming off of him got some yellow light coming out of his horns or his eyes are just making smoke really beautiful detail work in his body made of stone Three generic artifact creature gargoyle it has defender to three three it has three until end of turn gargoyle sentinels loses defender and gains flying so pay three this guy can attack and gain some flying and uh, it looks like the card i got for the rare is vivian's invocation five and two green got some creature spirit tiger bangle tiger going through the forest she's shooting an arrow right through it or alongside it and uh, they're about to stop the forest fires it looks like there's just fires going on sorcery look at the top seven cards of your library you put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield put the rest on on the bottom of your library in a random order when a creature is put onto the battlefield this way it deals damage equal to its power to target creature and opponent controls so look at the top seven cards put a big creature out and tell you that creature deal damage uh immediately to any other creature the opponent controls and you get a creature on the field cool and you got a forest and a thopter Boop. Nah. On to the last two. Um, looks like the first card I got is a trumpet blast. Uh, two and a red. Looks like this guy's on top of his crazy looking tiger dog badger mix and blowing his horn of war out of the giant ram's horn. And uh, got his brothers uh, charging the cavalry or something like that. You got the grass over there. You got the artist signature in the corner. Really cool. Steve Pros Prescott. Attacking creatures get plus two plus zero until end of turn. And it's two in a red. I got to revitalize one in a white. He's drinking his potion and he's healing himself. Looks like he got hurt. He's clutching where he got hurt and he's drinking his potion. You can see a whole wall of arrows just coming out and they're landing everywhere. He definitely got hit by one of them and he just needs a minute to heal. Instant, you gain three life, draw a card. Really cool art, goes with the picture. Got another Rocks Oracle. Got another Child of the Night. Got to foil one of those. Got a Lich's Caress again. Really cool picture. The creature from Black Lagoon is definitely in the background. Got a Gallant Cavalry. Three and a white. Looks like uh, these ladies are there with their swords or giant pikes. And they're riding these horses, protecting the kingdom in the background. Three and a white creature, Human Knight with Vigilance. It's a 2-2. Two -two. When Gallery Cavalry enters the battlefield, create a 2-2 two -two white knight creature token with Vigilance. So it comes into the battlefield, pretty much uh, two knights with Vigilance. Fun. I got a Sky Scanner. This crazy looking uh, drone. <laughs> it's pretty much a, a drone version of Magic the Gathering World. It's got like an eye on it, just looking through the city. The crazy look of despair on this uh, statue right there. And yeah, someone's controlling it, just seeing the city. Fly. When Sky Scanner enters the battlefield, draw a card. It's a 1-1 one -one with flying for 3. I got a Salvager of Secrets, 3 and 2 blue. Uh, she's found Atlantis, and she's op opened uh, the door to it, and she's about to go in to see what she can find. Uh, very beautiful, almost beta, like beta fish looking like a uh, flow of the skin, or scales and like the tail. It's a 2-2 two -two creature. When Salvager of Secret enters the battlefield, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Boom. I got a Salvener's Bite, one in a black. Looks like this lady's just draining this poor guy. His eyes are turning white as he's getting bit, about to be turned into a vampire. Maybe just a meal. Really beautiful picture, really beautiful art, really clean line work and everything. Bloody mess. Sorcery. Target player loses three life, and you gain three life. I got a Bogart Brute. Two and uh, red. You got these three goons up there on top of the hill. They're about to attack somebody. And yeah, just stand on top of Clifftop waiting for their cue. Goblin Warrior with Menace. The creature can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. And it's a 3-2. I got a Fountain of Renewal. One generic. Looks like they found this fountain in the mountain. Is it the Fountain of Youth? Maybe. Artifact. The beginning of your upkeep, you gain a life. Three. Sacrifice Fountain of Renewal. Draw a card. So every time your upkeep, gain a life. Sack it. Draw a card. Pretty fun. Uh, really 
messed up kind of looking ink on this card. Looks like it definitely got smeared. Knight of Valor. Four and a white enchantment or enchanted creature. When Knight of Valor enters the battlefield, create a 2-2 two, two white knight creature token with vigilance. Enchanted creature gets plus 2, plus 2, and has vigilance. So you give some plus 2, plus 2 to a creature, and you also got to create a knight token. Fun. And I got another Gargoyle Sentinel. And I got a, a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. So I did get a Planeswalker. Two and two white. And a legendary Planeswalker Johnny. Plus one. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on each of up to two target creatures. It comes in with four loyalty. Has negative two. Return target creature with converted mana cost two or less from a graveyard to the battlefield. And negative seven. You get an emblem with, at the beginning of your end step, create three 1-1 one, one white creature, white cat creature tokens with lifelink. And he's just standing there. Given his roar, let him know that he'll make a bunch of cat, cat creatures with lifelink. And then I got, I'll put this, that was my first mythic, a mountain, and a dragon. On to the last pack. Hopefully I'll get a nickel bolus, but if not, I still had a lot of fun opening this up. Let us see. The first card I got is a lava axe. Got another inspired charge. Got another mind drop. Another Daggerback Ballistic, a Basilisk, another Lich's Caress, another Gal Calvary, another Sky Scanner, another Scavenger of Secrets, another Sovereign's Bite, another pack where there's uh, quite a few cards out of the same. Let me just double check something. Some of these, uh, I feel the packs are kind of very similar. Let me see. Yeah. I got a Sky Scanner, Scavenger of Secrets, Sovereigner's Bite, uh, Bogar Brute. Sky Scanner, Scavenger of Secrets, uh, Sovereigner's Bite, Bogar Brute. So in the second pack where the common slot was very similar. I got an Arcane Encyclopedia, three generic artifact, uh, three and tap, draw a card. Really cool. Looks like a really cool textbook. And uh, yeah, bookmarked all sorts of ways. Got a lock on it. Got a beautiful light shining off of it. Nice reds. I got... Uh, militia Bugler, two and a white, human soldier with vigilance. When Militia Bugler enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card with power two or less from among them, put on your hand. Put the rest on your bottom of your library in a random order. It's a two, three creature for two and a white. So check out the top four cards of your library. Reveal a creature card, power two or less. Put in your hand, put the rest on the bottom in any order. I got a Hero Mancer's Cage. Uh, three and a white enchantment looks like this bull creature this uh yeah bison creature is being locked in this cage of light and he's really angry and pissed off and he wants to get out but no one's gonna let him when hero mancer's cage enters the battlefield exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls until hero mancer's cage leaves the battlefield and uh oh cool i actually did get a nickel bolus i got a nickel bolus the ravager one, a blue, a black, and a red legendary creature, Elder Dragon. It's a 4-4 four, four creature with flying. When Nicol Bolas, the Ravager, enters the battlefield, each opponent discards a card. So when he enters, each opponent discards a card. It is 4, blue, black, and red. Exile Nicol Bolas, the Ravager, then return him to the battlefield, transformed under his owner's control. Activate his ability only any time you can cast a sorcery. So, he transforms. What does he turn into? He turns into Nicol Bolas, the Arson. Arson. Uh, legendary creature Planeswalker, Bolas. It's a blue and red and black. Got the trifecta of colors going on. M19. Uh, it has plus two, draw two cards. Seven loyalty. Negative three, Nicol Bolas, the Arson, deals ten damage to target creature Planeswalker. Pretty crazy. Ten damage. That's insane. Kill pretty much any creature or planeswalker. Negative four, put target creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard onto the battlefield. From a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. So pretty much just gain control of whatever there is out there. And negative twelve, excel all but the bottom card of target player's library. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Just get rid of their whole library except the very bottom card. So they get one more turn to win the game. Then if they don't, boom, they draw nothing and they lose. Awesome. So I actually did get a nickel bolus card. And I got uh, the, the placeholder of it, and then a zombie. All right, not that bad of a box. I ended up getting two planeswalkers, uh, two foils, a bunch of rares, and a bunch of uncommons. Got a spin down dice, a nice little storage box, and a little rule book, a little backdrop, and a lot of fun. Anyways, I always enjoy opening uh, the bundles. Uh, they're pretty much a lot of fun. Just a cool way to get a glimpse of the set, get a bunch of cards if you want to make decks from it. And yeah, thank you all for stopping by. 
Have a wonderful, beautiful day. All right, let's see if the pen is mightier than the sword today. And it looks like it helped me. Roar! Man, they make this really tough.